Hello everyone and welcome to the next session of Core Java. In continuation with file handling, in this session, we will see how can we perform read-write operation with files using byte string. So which classes will be used to perform these operations? This is what we are going to look at first. To perform a read operation, input stream hierarchy is used, where input stream class is the abstract class, which is the starting point of input stream hierarchy. To read a file, we will make use of file input stream class. And to write data into the file, we will make use of file output stream class. Let's now see how we will be making use of these classes to perform read and write operations. So what I have over here is I have created one file which is read data. It is in the class path in the project. So we will first read this particular file. The class which we will be using from java.io package is file input stream class. So let's first declare a variable of type file input stream. It will be imported automatically here. Stream equal to, I'm just declaring a variable which is currently null. Why this is so? Because this constructor Whenever we are creating an object of this particular file input stream class, where I will be specifying name of the file, say read data, this constructor throws an exception. What type of exception? File not found exception. Why this exception is thrown? This is a check type of exception. And Whatever file name we are specifying, maybe that file does not exist or you don't have any right to, um, you know, read data. So in such scenarios, this particular constructor throws an exception, which is file not found exception, which needs to be handled. So here I will select surround with try catch. Now, while discussing about exception handling, we have seen that whatever resources we have opened, those resources must be closed. So here we have opened an input stream, which is a resource. So this resource must also be closed. And for that, we will make use of finally block. So this will be the Code of finally block. Now, what happens is if we don't check this null condition, and if there is value of this variable as null, we will get another unchecked exception, which is null pointer exception. Why to check this particular condition? Say, for example, I have right now, okay, this particular stream of object creation is the very first statement in my try block. If it is after some statements and one of the statement has thrown an exception, so this initialization of stream variable is not done. Now, what is the default value or what value I have specified for this stream variable is null, right? Now, if I'm calling this close method, because finally block will get executed. So if I'm calling this close method on null reference, I'm going to get an exception, which is null pointer exception. So to avoid that, we will be making use of this condition check. If it is not null, then call close method. If it is null, that means this, uh, that particular resource is not open. It is not initialized. 
the resource is not open so there is no point in closing that particular resource now there is a method read and this read method returns one variable which is of type int so stream dot read now this read method throws io exception now how to handle this exception either you can have one more catch block or you can um, have a nested try block or you can add exception to existing catch clause we have seen that java 7 supports multi catch feature so we can implement that now i am getting compilation error over here why because it says the exception file not found exception is already caught by the alternative io exception means what basically io exception is super class of file not found exception class how i how do i know because i have learned it you will also learn about it eventually so in hierarchy io exception is super class of file not found exception so io exception is capable of handling io exception as well as file not found exception so we will remove this and we will only keep io exception also you can remove unused imports right and then we will print this particular data now when i am executing this application you can see that there is some number so what is this number so this number is basically the ascii value of this lower case t so what i need to do is i will have to convert it into char using type cast of so now you can see that the ascii value 116 is now replaced with the actual caret right but now it is reading only one isn't it so we will have to call this read method in a loop so let's now see how to call it in a loop so i will initialize it with zero while stream dot read not equal to minus 1 now what is this not equal to minus 1 is whenever you are reading data using read method it will return the ascii value that means it will have zero or any what we can say non zero value positive value so minus 1 represents the end of the file okay so i am just putting it into this variable so while data equal to stream dot read so whatever is read by read method is stored in data variable and this data is not minus 1 keep on executing this particular code so let's now execute the code so whenever i am executing the code you can see that this entire data is read at once however every character is printed on the new line so we will just remove this ln from here which is new line specification and we will make use of print and we will see that everything is available on the same line so this is how we can read file using file input stream 
which is reading this particular data in the form of byte strings. Let's now see how can we write data into a file using byte string. So output stream hierarchy is used to perform write operation. Output stream knows basic thing about writing the data as how to write. Now, when it comes about how to write in a file, we can make use of file output stream class. So first, let's create file output stream of class object. So file output stream equal to null. Now we know that why we are declaring this variable as null over here. New file output stream. And here I'm specifying name of the file. Now if the file which you have specified over here does not exist, then file output stream will create that particular file at the specified location and then write operation will be performed. Now, right now, I have not specified any path like C drive or D drive. So this particular file will be created in this particular project itself. However, you can specify the actual path like on C drive, I have some folder and in that folder, I want to store this particular file created at that particular location. So in that case, you can specify that path as well. Now this file output stream throws an exception, which is file not found exception, which needs to be handled. Then suppose I have a string, say str is equal to say hello world. And I want to write it into the file. So you can see that there is there are basically write methods, but these write methods accept either byte array or int variable but I have a string. So this particular string needs to be converted into a byte array. So byte, byte array equal to, now how, I, how will I convert it? So string class has got a method named as get bytes, which will represent this particular string in the form of byte array. And then here, we can pass that byte array. This also throws IO exception. Again, the same thing, file not found is subclass of IO exception. So it can handle both the exceptions. IO exception can handle both the exceptions. Now, this particular program is not going to print anything So we will just specify system.out.println data is written. So let's execute this particular code. You can see that data is written, is what printed on the console. However, where is the file? So we'll just need to refresh this particular project and you can see that write data is being created and this is the data which is written in this particular file so whatever we have specified is converted into bytes and those bytes are stored in this particular write data file so this is how we can perform read write operations using byte stream with file input stream and file output stream classes. Thank you.